goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing a zombie system into our 5M server. That's right, y'all. We are going to be installing zombies to our server first thing you are going to need is of course 5m and you're going to need your own server so if you do not have 5m or your own server check the links in the description there will be videos showing you how to install 5m and also how to create your own server so go ahead and check that out if you don't have those once you have those installed when you get down to this link this is the zombie system created by this lake I believe that is the creator right there shout out to the creator when you get down to this page you want to of course read this description all the information that the author has provided they also have change logs and what has changed uh, since the past updates once you get done reading this you want to select right here to download once you select this link right here to download it will lead you to a github page for ESX zombie system all right so uh, what you want to do when you get here, of course, it's the same information right here in the README below. You can select the clone or download green button right here and select download zip. All right. So once you have the zombie system downloaded, on my left hand side, I have a folder with just one download. That one download is the zombie system. OK, it's going to say ESX zombie system master. All right. And on my right hand side, I have my server directory opened up right here and also I have my resources folder. OK, so let's go ahead and open up the resources folder and we'll leave it open right here. OK, um, actually, what we want to do is um, open up our ESX folder also. OK, if you don't have an ESX folder, you could just throw it in uh, to your resources but um, for those that have an ESX folder go ahead and open it up and we'll leave this right here leave this open now let's go back to our downloads where we had our ESX zombie system master folder all right and of course that is going to be a compressed uh, file when you download it so you're gonna have to unzip it either with WinWar or 7-zip I'm using 7-zip right now once you're done unzipping it, you will have a folder right here. Now let's go ahead and open up that folder. We have all of our important stuff inside. Go back. Now we are going to take this whole entire folder, drag and drop it over here to our ESX inside of our resources. All right. Once that has been dropped, what we need to do now is edit the name. We need to delete the hyphen or the dash master okay i'm gonna delete that just so it says esx zombie system all right i'm gonna copy that name right there now let's go back to our server directory where our server.cfg is located at and open up the server.cfg inside here is where we add our resources to our server so right now we want to add our resource for our zombie system. All right. I have a place in my server.cfg where I add all my ESX scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new line. Start and paste the name of the folder, which is ESX zombie system. All right. You want to make sure that you have it the same name matching on the folder in your resources. OK, so once that has been um, added to the resources, let's go ahead and click file and save. Then we could go ahead and exit out. Now there is one thing I want to add. Um, let's go back into our resources folder then go into our ESX folder and now open up the ESX zombie system folder. Now let's open up our config. Okay, just go ahead and open that one up. Inside the config, 
this is what I suggest to change okay inside here you can change whatever you like uh, but for this tutorial right here we're gonna focus on the on the zombie spawning okay this is the spawn zombie right here it only will spawn 10 um, every so couple of seconds or something like that by default okay so I have experienced that to be like not enough zombies roaming around so I suggest to make this a hundred all right a hundred will give it more of a feel of uh more zombies around the city it won't be like you know like overwhelming but just enough to spot a lot of zombies around the city okay so uh for t for today's tutorials purpose we're just going to go ahead and make that a hundred okay to make sure that we see a bunch of zombies out there all right once we have made the change click file and then select save and we can exit out of that now we can go back to our server directory and run the server. And I will see you in the game. All right, once you spawn in the game, no matter where you spawn at, you're going to realize that there is no pets around you and uh, no cars. It'll be pretty much uh, quiet, all right? And that's during the daytime. Um, you're gonna have some weapons and stuff on you, you should. If not, then... Um, I suggest installing some type of trainer like V menu. I have a video for that as well. So let's just go around real quick. I'm not gonna fast forward anything. We're just gonna walk around. And like I said, you will start to see some zombies around. All right. Now, when you get in a certain perimeter of the zombie, they will start to come near you. All right, of course, which they should. They don't die right away. You have to really pump some lead in them, you know? Oh, yeah, and you can loot them, too. Uh, press E to search. All right. All right. So uh, we can loot them as well. It pays to have some type of inventory <laughs> installed also. All right. Get this person right here. Bye-bye. So by installing this, you can create your own little zombie server. You can have your friends and everything play with you. Um, install some type of like zombie um, uh, zombie Y maps, for example. You can have some uh, some Y maps installed where the the buildings are like you know falling apart or something. You know they have a, a Y map where downtown is like deserted and stuff like that. So they have a different uh, a lot of um, options for maps to add to uh your server but this is pretty cool right here man so i'm gonna go around and kill some zombies real quick i know they heard the gunshot so they should be walking in pretty soon <laughs> there goes one right there oh actually there goes a couple back there so they're, they're all around me actually all down the streets all right well i'm gonna go around and kill some zombies folks if this helped y'all out to install zombies or if you just like the video, feel free to smash that like button for your boy. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends. Hey, I found $7. That are in the modding GTA 5. This is Games and Graphics. Me and my buddy right here. We are out of here till next time, y'all. Let's go get some more money. One dollar. What you got on you? Right, got another dollar. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers.